I'll survive. My people, people, open your eyes. Wake up. Blessed love, this is Queen Omega representing for all lions and lionesses. With the lion's voice, we come to tell our story. Rastafari, live it. Hey, hey, the lion's voice, Rastafari. Right, so I also want to touch on His Majesty visit to Jamaica. Um, I had some plans and uh, we're still going to execute some of that. Uh, but we are going to talk about, in particular, His Majesty's speech to the Jamaican Parliament because I think he said something in that speech that it ties into what's happening right now with this international situation. What am I talking about? In that speech uh, to Jamaica, His Majesty said that the relationship between Ethiopia and Jamaica would be critical for the maintenance of international peace and security. And when we look at the small Jamaica, you know, we look at Ethiopia, uh, we're wondering how is that possible that a little small island could have uh, a relationship with Ethiopia that's key for international peace and security. And I'm going to talk about, you know, my thoughts on that. I want to get Lion Pride thoughts on that in this episode. So the year is 1892 and the land of Ethiopia has been experiencing four years of terrible famine and drought. They call it the Kikuken or the evil days. At least one third of the human population and 90% of the cattle have died. The hyenas have feasted on so many carcasses that they have become overweight and barely able to move. Just when the people could take no more of the evil days, a woman named Wasiro Yashimebe is giving birth in a place called Ergersa Goro. This is her ninth attempt to bring forth new life. Her previous eight attempts only resulted in death. Will this child live? Thankfully, a healthy baby boy is born. His first cries are drowned by thunder and lightning flashes across the night sky. The heavens open up and torrential rain starts to fall. Ethiopia's drought is over and the baby boy is given the name Tafari, meaning one to be feared or respected. Lich Tafara's father, Ras Makunin, is a very important man in 1892 Ethiopia. Although he is overjoyed at the birth of his newborn son, he cannot spend much time with him. Ras Makunin is the governor of Harar and must get back to the famous walled city to deal with its affairs. Furthermore, he is the foreign minister of Ethiopia, and having traveled to different places in Europe, he is very aware of the material and military advances they have made and the looming threats they pose to his country. Ras Makunin knows that the majority of Ethiopians have no idea what is coming and that he has to work that much harder to secure the realm. Lich Tafari would grow up to become the legendary emperor, Haile Selassie I. To understand his journey, we must first understand the Ethiopia that he was inheriting and what it was like when he was born in 1892. Get your copy of Kwesi Bansu's book, Haile Selassie I, Ethiopia, Volume 1, The Rise of the Priestly Warrior Kings, and increase your knowledge about the history, politics, and culture of Ethiopia in 1892, and how it connects to the rest of African and world history at the time. Haile Selassie I, Ethiopia, Volume 1 is available for purchase at www.bookmanexpress.pub. Please visit for more information. Uh, but today's episode uh, is going to be a two-in-one. I was originally going to do an episode on His Majesty's visit to Jamaica um, because uh, the 21st is tomorrow. However, uh, you know, while here in New York, or as we say in the Ayabingi in Old York, um, Israel attack Iran. Uh, so, you know, uh, a couple episodes ag uh, ago, or last episode, sorry, uh, we talked about five signs that Babylon is falling. And, you know, I made mention that Iran had just uh, did a retaliation strike against Israel for the bombing of the Iranian embassy in Syria. Over 300 drones and missiles uh, to Israel. 
this morning in the early lights, well, in the early lights of Friday morning, uh, Israel has retaliated from the retaliation. Uh, so the world now waits to see if Iran is going to retaliate. Initially, they're playing it down. So uh, the world is hopeful that this will not lead to an immediate escalation. But everyone on the Lion Pride and everyone who's in tune with the prophecy, uh, biblical prophecy, and everyone who knows what's happening knows that even if Iran doesn't strike forward, this is just a uh, a pause in the action. Um, I have been saying on this channel for months and months and months, World War III is here. Uh, if you look in the mainstream now, you're seeing headlines, World War III, World War III, them late. Um, and that's why it's so important, again, Rastafari independent media, because we're on the pulse, uh, letting ones know the preparation time is happening. So if you're watching this video, and you have not prepared yourself or began preparing and what do i mean by preparing i mean the storing of food i mean if you are serious about repatriation you know activating your plans accelerating your plans uh, i mean connecting with your local farmer community uh, making sure not only that you are collecting food and water for your premises so that if the imports them stop from forwarding you would be okay but also connecting with a network of farmers in your local region so that you know you can sustain or you can make provision for yourself and your family it's that time family um, because if Iran gets drawn into the war they most likely will close the Straits of Hormuz where 25 percent of the world's um, energy flows through which is going to send the price of oil and gas to the roof which in turn will send the price of basic commodities to the roof so this is real time uh, particularly for my brethren uh, the head of household uh, my sister who are leading their households without brethren um, but for all of the families you know as a leader this is now when you have to exercise that far eye and put in provision so that you are prepared for what is to come and you do not um, find yourself in a, pos in, a, in a dire position where you're forced to accept the government assistance that may come with strings attached, a.k.a. Mark of the Beast. So we're in that time, family. But I, I also, uh, again, we did the tribute to His Majesty visit to Trinidad, so I also want to touch on His Majesty visit to Jamaica. Um, I had some plans. Um, we're still going to execute some of that. Um, but we are going to talk about, in particular, His Majesty's speech to the Jamaican Parliament because I think he said something in that speech that it ties into what's happening right now with this international situation. What am I talking about? In that speech uh, to Jamaica, His Majesty said that the relationship between Ethiopia and Jamaica would be critical for the maintenance of international peace and security. And when we look at the small Jamaica, you know, we look at Ethiopia, uh, we're wondering how is that possible that a little small island could have uh, a relationship with Ethiopia that's key for international peace and security. And I'm going to talk about, you know, my thoughts on that. I want to get Lion Pride thoughts on that. In this episode so we're gonna look at his majesty's speech to parliament uh you know we can talk about the divine ratification when he gave the gold medals to the members of the rastafari movement who up until that time were ostracized by the society slum dwellers gully bank dwellers we've heard from mama fire others that you know the rastafari community they were dwelling on the gully bank they were dwelling you know uh you know, in dumb sites, Bakawal was a dumb site. You know, they were dwelling in the worst of slums in Jamaica, uh, unable to uh, interact with the wider Jamaican society. Fati legging on your head, them type of thought there. The Jamaican society, Dutty Rasta, the Black Heart Man, all of these things were levied against the Rastafari community at that time. And we see that uh, His Majesty as the king of kings coming to jamaica um opening up the, the the public forum so that the rastafari brethren could attend and giving them gifts 
now elevate you can imagine it's like i went to uh, california slum row or you had a foreign dignitary go to skid row and elevate the ones i'm not saying that rastafari are, are drug addicts or dwellers on skid row but i'm saying how the society perceived them would be how uh the society um, perceived those homeless uh, dwellers in california uh so you can imagine his majesty paying attention not just paying attention but elevating the leadership and so i that is the divine ratification so when people um say that rastafari or Haile selassie deny rastafari people he had not wanted nothing to do with i and i this visit refutes in in, in dramatic fashion those claims uh and in terms of him denying his divinity uh, and things of that nature again this visit would show that you know is my as he said who am i um to judge a belief as strong as this so um, we have those testimonies from our elders <laughs> The second beast was given the power to give breath unto the image of the first beast so that the image could speak and cause all who refused to worship the image to be killed. It also forced the people great and small, rich and poor, free and slave to receive the mark on their right hands and in their forehead. Gone down in the new world order, new world order Half he work harder, half he pray harder Babylon and them coming with them microchip And them prison cell that's the new slave ship New world order, new world order Half he work harder, half he pray harder Babylon and them coming with them microchip And them video game that's the new matrix It's a new world order, them stop bleaching Diverse doctrine, them stop preaching Her Angels for the stars they reaching They are falling, never hear the lion calling new New world order, them fight against the poor Machine and robot that sweep them floor Machine and robot that run them stores So them create disease ones without Come any fear Come down New world order, new world order Half he work harder, half he pray harder Babylon and them coming with them microchip And them prison cell that's the new slave ship New world order, new world order Half he work harder, half he pray harder Babylon and them coming with them microchip And them video game that's the new matrix It's a new world order them pan cell phone Families don't even talk in their home Village farmers get murdered by drones Village mistress get murdered by stones New world, so you better call Tyrone Tell him repair, use the whole earth a war zone New world, Satan must fit the drone So we must accept us and leave him alone Come the new world order New world order Half he work harder, half he pray harder Babylon them coming with them microchip And them prison cell that's the new slave ship New world order, new world order Half he work harder, half he pray harder Babylon them coming with them microchip And them video game that's the new matrix It's a new world order, check the energy Make it so hard to go have a family Man, woman and child, well that's a the trinity Preserve the bloodline, Talimanic dynasty Vatican them say a beat, that them Alice and them thief Harvest and them reap, see the global elite As when the elder him said, don't you weep The lion destroyed them by the words that he's